In this short video, I'm going to run through how you can integrate ln x squared. And I'm going to start by writing this in a slightly strange way. So instead of doing the integral of ln x squared, I'm going to do the integral of 1 times ln x squared. And by doing this, we've now got two things multiplied together. And that's going to let us use our integration by parts formula. And our integration by parts formula says that the integral of two things, u and dv times together, is equal to this expression here. And in order to be able to use this, we need to decide what u is going to be and what dv is going to be. And we could pick either of these functions to be either of these. And I would suggest that the best way to do it is to take u to be the ln x squared and to take dv to be 1. And that's what we're going to do here. Now, we've got u and we've got dv. We also need to have v and we need to have du. So let's start by getting du. So we have this expression here. and We have to find the derivative. And to do this, you're going to have to use the chain rule. So we've got an inside function here. So we've got the x squared. The derivative of that is going to be 2x. Then we're going to times that by the derivative of the whole thing. So if you remember, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So likewise, this outside function is going to be 1 over x squared. And that's what we get here. And when we multiply these two together, there's obviously going to be a cancellation. This x and this x squared are going to cancel out. So we can say that du is simply 2 over x dx. We've got dv equals 1, integrate both sides, and we get v equals x. We now have everything we need to substitute into our integration by parts formula. So we take all of this and substitute one thing at a time into this expression. This is what you're going to get. So our integration is going to become this longer expression. So this is our u times our v. Then we're subtracting the integral of our v, which is our x, times our simplified version of du, which is this expression here. And you'll obviously see we get yet another cancellation. The x and the x here are going to cancel. So in fact, all we're really having to do is just copy this straight down. Then we've got minus the integral of 2 dx. That's very, very simple to do. And by doing that, we get our final answer. So this integral is becoming minus 2x. We add the constant of integration, and we end up with our final answer. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you, and you can now integrate ln x squared. Thank you very much for watching.